Hey gang, Poppy's Workshop, and I have a treat for you. All you people out there who can't sit around to watch a whole project, okay, here it is, how to run your shear line lathe spindle backwards at a slow speed with pretty decent torque. Gee whiz. No, I didn't use that to cut this off of there. <laughs> I love it. Now see, I got it clamped here and I got a screw back there through the other hole the hole back there yeah okay now what is the method to this man's madness <clears throat> oh it's not there it's there it is! Hey! I knew it was in the shop, man! There we go. Let's take this out. Transfer the screws. And well, at least one of them. And this one wants to come out just a little more. Nope, a little more still. There we go. <laughs> now we reach in here, and here it is, kitties. I have to get a couple more 632 Allen screws, because you see... <laughs> Here they are. Did I sound like Jeff Foxworthy there for a moment? Here's your sign. Oh, and not long enough. Well, I knew this was going to be a dedicated screw to the other function. And I'll set you on zero for now. And I tightened them down, didn't I? A little early. A little early. A little early. And I need to set this at 84 anyway. Eighty-four. 
That one might be a little bit too deep. You want to make a fool of me now? There we go. Oh, I wish I was a rich recording artist so I could play my own music during my videos. You know? Of course, then somebody, RIAA or ASCAP, would come along and say, You can't play your own music in your videos. You're failing to facilitate our screwing some other artist out of their royalties. <laughs> oh. Well, come on. The reason, and this is the only reason, that uh, EMI only made one box of the White Album with the serial numbers. I told the Beatles, oh, it's too expensive to make a record. Well, what they were saying was, really what they were saying was, we won't be able to rip you off because you know exactly how many we sold. We won't be able to hide it under spoiled. <laughs> That's why they only made one box of the White Album with serial numbers. That's right, I moved it down here. A little more. Still a little more. <laughs> this is the only one I'll have to crank in on it. Hey, yeah, you see. Oh, yes, he, he does live dangerously, doesn't he? And they keep offering him the net. Then he keeps on waving it aside. The crowd thinks he's insane. Maybe he is. <laughs> Because <clears throat> after all, he's a YouTube video creator. 
And they's all suspect, <laughs> aren't they? Do, 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 do. Gonna have to refine this setup <laughs> more securely. The rod holding the flex shaft up broke after many years. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he does catch the javelin. I don't know what song that is, so I don't know who I'm infringing by humming it. an eighth. Yeah, why not? Ah. That's plenty tight for that cutter. There we go. Okay, you see, 84 degrees, 6 degrees. If the geometry escapes anyone out there, ask Mr. Pete. I'm not an educator. The only one problem with this system is I give up power feed.
And that's the great thing about flexible shaft. <laughs> you can do that! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, baby cakes. Okay, what do I want to attack? The ah, yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. We'll go small. Come on, you don't cross thread. <coughs> Here are you. Okay, let's bring it back to zero. That's five, fifteen. Ten. Although, on this side, I should probably work back here, huh? No. Yeah, I need to run it backwards going inside. Well, gee whiz, I guess to do the uh, internal grinding, I'll have to put its motor back on. How can we face? Is it faceable? Yeah, that's not the best tool for facing. It has no teeth on its face. But if it did, it would be good. OK. 
Careful, Poppy, you're gonna launch that file into that tool rack behind you. Well, there you have it, kitties. Running your shear line spindle backwards at slow speed so you can do stuff like cylindrical grinding. Simple, isn't it? Of course, go on internal cylindrical grinding or other like that. They got to put the motor back on. Oh! Uh, bah! Hi right, gang, we're back. Let me get this there. We're back. Okay. Yeah, I know it's black. I don't think Dykem makes black. Yeah. There's still one or two uses left for Sharpie. That and writing idiot on your princess forehead. <laughs> oh come on. Don't tell me any of you. Journeyman out there not wanted the right idiot. Uh, come on. Okay. I dug out the Dayton 10th horsepower and my Fordham Flex Aid shaft. And this is the handpiece that came with this shaft. Believe it or not. Okay, now. One little problem. That's a burr. Not a writer. Gee whiz. I guess I'll have to find a piece of steel to grind on. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. It may be hard for me to find something. Oh, gee whiz. How about one of these? How many of you guys out there can say changing your lathe chuck is a one-hand operation? And if no one noticed that I was using this app, <laughs> ding, 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 survey says nobody's watching. <sighs> Wrong place. This one. No. A quarter twenty is the one that holds the drill check in. Come on. Get in there, you know. Okay, where are you improved wrench company? And that's what it says. Improved. That's tight enough. Not like I'm going to be drilling or anything. Just going to do a little bit of lightweight cylindrical grinding here. Come on, you. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Get that all the way in. Right now. Uh. No. 
hell? We use the good stuff. Uh, let's see. Was this where I had those miscellaneous? Points. Yes! Miscellaneous. And do I want the white? Oh. Uh. These are rubber flex, okay. That is the one. Thing about Shearline Wave is you're going to run into situations like that more than you would even with a seven inch Chinese lathe. Quite a bit of a run out. Maybe we should see what's wrong here. Maybe tightening it would. Uh... Oh, immensely! <laughs> it helped immensely! Hear that? Without the power feed for the longitudinal here, it's not going to be as nice and pretty. But you notice I'm catching the uh, eccentricity on that shaft there. Hey! One. Step over one. Step over. Yeah, I'm going to keep my eyes right here on the work face, as they call it in mining, where the tool hits the dirt. <laughs> That's the work face. I'm 
Now, I told you guys I did cylindrical grinding on this baby in 1996. This was the hand piece. I had it set up in the rocker. And it was a real fun time getting that spindle to run slow enough. I know this step over here is excessive considering the class of work I'm supposed to be doing, but this is a demonstration. I just want to get that F and R. Highlighted. So, what I want us to know how thick is a thin coat of dicam steel blue layout fluid. I mean, the whole world wants to know how thick is a coat of dicam. Okay, let's segue to the next cut on the album. I am liking this a lot. This is doing exactly what I want it to.
do have one in three. Well, there you have it, kitties. Cylindrical grinding tool steel. Hardened tool steel on a shear line lay. hurts to stand up. Oh. Yeah, the middle of the sidewalk somewhere where we were walking down. And I mean, of course, yeah. Bit, bit it on the sidewalk. You mean when you shooting. told me that she pushed you? No. Oh, the, the other, other time. time. And then she bit it on the sidewalk one day. Revenge on. is sweet, isn't it? Uh, well, it gets clumsy. I hate it. You know you're old when you have to admit you can't do what you used to do. That's true. It sucks.